Hi, so this video we will be talking about some useful um, tricks that you can use with our ion scan uh, for scanning thin wall object which um, is kind of difficult to align if you only scan it in the air or when you're holding it. Um, you know, usually for something like a thin wall shape, like one sheet of paper. Um, it's easy if you're only scanning both sides, but it's really hard for you to jump from one side to the other. And today we're going to show you some tricks for how to do so. So let's get it started. So here we get into the preview. Um, you can see that the red dots are the markers that's been detected. Um, we're going to start it from the object. Um, first, we cover one side of it. Just move slowly to get the full thing. Um, then, after you get it, um, we can move slowly uh, to the table where we're going to go around to the other side. Um, it's okay if you have some tracking loss because, you know, it's a 90 degree turn. So. Just make sure you go slowly and it's back to the other side and cover it again. Um, do a full scan of the back side. And we don't stop here. We next we're gonna go back to the table, um, turn around and go back to where we started to get a full loop. The uh, purpose for doing this is that we want the, um, the whole scan data form a loop, which actually will be helping uh, aligning in the future. Because if you don't have a full, full loop data, there will be accumulated arrows. Um, so the alignment may not be good, but if you, once you fun function the loop, then um, the algorithm will try to um, construct the full loop and paste the, uh, align the data back. So see the readouts here. Uh, we can delete the part that we don't need. And if you don't really need high accuracy, uh, high details, um, then it should be good for you. Um, just patch all the holes and you can save the data as a STL file. Um, this is an easy way how you can um, scan thing will object uh, with handheld mode but uh, in some other case maybe uh, you don't you think it's not good enough for the detail uh, you want to do with fixed scan here's how we do it we first go back to scan mode and save the file uh, as a .p3 file this is uh, saving the marker positions only and then we go back to select scan mode and choose fix scan. And here, when we start a new one, uh, we choose browse and loading the .p3 file. And you can see after the project's open, um, the markers are already there to align data. And now you can see we do uh, single shots frame by frame and all the data are automatically aligned based on the uh, frame points that we already imported in. So in this way, you can easily align uh, both sides of data under fixed scan, which is, um, I would say, impossible if you want to do it uh, only by fixed mode. Even, even if you choose to do manual alignment, since the camera will not be able to capture both sides at the same time, uh, there's no good way to align uh, both sides of data together without, um, without this framework. And if you do this, uh, if you want to use the technique that we 
use for the rep, uh, handheld scan mode. Then you have to fix the full object and move the scanner around, which could be painful. So I'll say if you want to fix scan for this kind of thin wall object, the best solution uh, will be to first get the uh, full marker frame with handheld mode, then just output the .p3 and import into a fixed scan. And then you can easily uh, do single shots and align the full thing together. So here we go. Um, for some angles, uh, for some part of the object, you may find it's hard to uh, find a good angle. Uh, you can use some thing, like what I use is a paint can as a support to get a good angle for scanning. Um, of course, you can delete the data later, like this. After you feel like you get the um, full data, we can select to mesh the data. And of course, um, you can later fix the holes, um, patch your scan, and save it as, save it as an STL file. Um, for marker line mode, you need to we, rec we recommend you to do auto-fill-in for all the marker holes. Uh, 